so students we are continuing with the housekeeping good housekeeping in the code which we started in the last module and uh, in this module we'll talk about the line breaks and we will also talk about something very useful which is the reserved words reserved words are the words which you cannot use in your code because that are used by the javascript interpreter itself so let's look at the outline so this is the module outline line breaks uh, placing javascript correctly javascript statements and the reserved words and mind you that there are certain reserved words which are currently used which i'll share with you and the reserved words which are going to be available for the interpreter in the future so avoid using them so let's go into more details so what are line breaks line breaks are called as carriage returns and as per the european computer manufacturers association they are called as terminators also now if you recall that the improper use of the semicolon created errors so the improper use of the line breaks similarly can create errors with reference to the return keyword so what is the common application the common application of the uh, this line break is the readability the readability of long lines of code or uh, the readability of single lines of code and of course this uh, extra line break over here that can create unwanted effects extra line breaks the similar example we had with reference to the return semicolon in the last module let's go into more details so now that we know what was the issue with the line breaks now where do we place the javascript so we can place the javascript in the head section over here or we can place it within the body tags over here also now the placing of the script stands up within the body section is becoming more common this is becoming more common why because show to declare what type of script you are using although other script types can be used because this module is about javascript we would declare the following within the opening script we declare it over here that we are using javascript one important issue not okay noted when you use javascript release the pages declared as extensible hypertext markup language therefore javascript used within strict x html should be declared as follows like this okay older browsers might not parse the c data section correctly this section by the older browsers okay so what to do this problem can be worked around by placing the c data opening and closing lines within javascript comments like this so use this approach working around the old browsers so i believe you understand where do you place the javascript now what you can also do is you can place the code in an external file also instead of the page itself instead of the page instead of the page itself you can place it in external file when you place the actual javascript code in a separate file you don't need to use this ugly c data section at all in the previous module you will probably discover that for anything but the smallest script defining your javascript in a separate files usually with the file extension .js okay .js over here and then linking to those scripts within the page is desirable here's a reminder of how you link to a file using the source attribute of the script tag this is how you place in an external file okay placing javascript in an external file has several advantages also including the following these are some of the advantages for example keeping the javascript code in a separate file makes maintaining the html easier and it preserves the structure of the html without you having to use the c data section for html so over here you don't need the c data using javascript in a separate file you can make changes to the javascript code in that separate file without touching the html okay no no touch no touch html all right using a separate file for javascript enables web browsers to cache the file thus speeding up the web page load for the users this caching speed up okay speed up so javascript statements what is a statement 
Like programs written in other languages, JavaScript programs consist of statements put together that cause the JavaScript interpreter to perform one or more actions. And like statements in other languages, JavaScript statements can be simple or compound. Okay. This module briefly examines JavaScript statements. Right. So what's in a statement? JavaScript is more than you might think. A JavaScript statement or expression is a collection of tokens of various categories, including keywords. Okay. You have keywords, you have literals, okay, and you have tokens. There are many things over here. A statement usually ends with a semicolon, except in special cases. The loop constructor such as if, while, and here are some examples of basic JavaScript statements. Over here, basic JavaScript statements. The two types of JavaScript statements, the JavaScript statement came in two basic forms, simple and compound, will not spend a lot of time on it, alright. However, you should know the difference between simple and compound statements. A simple statement is just what you'd expect, it's very simple. This is a simple statement, this is a compound statement, okay. A compound statement combines multiple levels of logic and if then else conditional such as the one given here provides good example of this. Compound statement, simple statement, okay. And we have these two types of statements. I think this should be clear now. So, what are the reserved words? Certain words in JavaScript are reserved, which means you can't use them as variable identifiers or constant names within your program because doing so will cause the code to have unexpected results, such as errors. For example, You've already seen the reserved word var in previous examples. In previous examples, you've already seen var, okay? And using the word var to do anything but declare a variable can cause errors or other unexpected behavior depending on the browser. So, over here, don't do this. Don't do this. All right, so we have this currently set of reserved words. Several other words shown in the following table are reserved for future use and therefore shouldn't be used in your programs so these are the future ones so i believe it should be clear to you you have to be careful with using the reserved words that's all for this module